Wow, can't believe it. Is this the last time that I'm gonna use aloe vera? Mm. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is Maz Naturals. And if you are here for the first time and you like everything locks, fitness, faith, skincare, and a few vlogs here and there then this could be the channel for you so before you move on please hit that subscribe button and let's get into the video for those of you who have been with me for a while you know that i go on and on about this aloe vera aloe vera is the best thing that i use for my locks i've always used aloe vera ever since I, well, not when I first started my lock journey, but during the middle of my lock journey, um, I used aloe vera. And guys, it's really hot here, so I'm going to be using my fan. Just hope you can still hear me. So, a person who subscribed to my channel and I'm subscribed to their channel advised me to try aloe vera juice. And ever since I've used aloe vera juice, it's been amazing. It's nourished my, my scalp. I don't itch my scalp, um, it keeps it moisturized and it enables it to, to, um, to grow. And I was watching a video sometime, was it a few weeks ago, I was watching a video, a few weeks ago I was watching a video and the person, I'm not gonna sort of put any names or anything because I don't like drama. So I don't want anybody, um, you know, going on about this. It's not that deep. But the person mentioned, she's a hair care professional. She mentioned that aloe vera, if you use aloe vera, to, it's like a protein treatment. And if you use it too much, it can break your locks. I don't know how true that is. I've not experienced that. I mean, since I've been using aloe vera, it's been fine. It's, you know, as I said, it's nourished my scalp. It's, it's thickened my roots and um, I've had no problems with it. And I've been using it for a while. Um, if any of you have been using aloe vera or have used aloe vera and have experienced breakage, then do put it in the comments below because, you know, what, works for one person may not work for another but this is coming from a hair care professional so um, a cosmetologist she said that it might be fine for a while but um, it will break your locks that's what she said it will break your locks in a few years times don't tell don't say i didn't warn you blah 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 but um as i said i've had my locks for over 20 odd years and the few years I think I've been using aloe vera for about three years in my journey and it's been fine I've not had no problems but the thing is I don't always use aloe vera I use like the last video I I, I uploaded was the clove spray it's clove water I've been using that fine I use rosemary fine I use a few different conditioning sprays in my locks and it's all been beneficial to be honest with you i think the lady was more referring to loose natural hair but hair is hair and you know before you use anything do your research i did my research when i first used um aloe vera and i've never really i've never heard anything like it was going to break or break your my hair or anything like that i was hearing good things but if you still want to use aloe vera after what i'm saying to you then go ahead because i'm going to still use it <laughs> i'm going to still use aloe vera because it agrees with my hair and i have to go with what what works for you as an individual i mean i share my lot journey on here but what works for me might not necessarily work for you 
and what works for you might not necessarily work for me so you've got to go with what works for you so um i'm i'm continuing to use aloe vera because that's the only thing what helped with my itchy scalp um it prevents frizz it, it cleanses and, and nourishes the scalp and that is where my problem was back in or about say about five years ago i used to suffer with itchy scalp if you go into my library and watch my video i think it's seven month update i talk about itchy scalp and um how my scalp used to be so itchy i don't know what it was but actually i do know what it was it was an oil that i was using or did it agree with my scalp so sometimes when you use when your scalp's itching it could be just one thing that you're using what doesn't agree with you and mine was um, grapeseed oil I don't use grapeseed oil and if I get any products if I use any shampoo or anything I always check if it has grapeseed oil because I don't know grapeseed oil just does not agree with my with my scalp this is the funny thing what I discovered aloe vera prevents breakage so if it prevents breakage then why was this lady saying it can break your hair it's hair she said it. it's not specific, specifically locks it was hair but we, we've got our hair is still natural <laughs> it's just in locks so it's the same thing but anyway i just thought i would come on and share that with you because because i'm always banging on about aloe vera and like i said just because i heard this lady say this it's not going to stop me from using aloe vera because i've had positive experience with using it so i will continue to use it and i would advise you guys if you think it still works with you continue to use it i would like to hear if any of you have had bad experiences with it i would like to hear it in the comments also if you've had good experience with with it i would like to hear that too in the comments so leave your comments in the boxes below and share with everyone how you feel about aloe vera and if you want to watch any of my other videos of how i make my aloe vera juice my aloe vera spray um i will leave them in i'll probably leave them at the end of this video if you click above on the card you will see the other videos about aloe vera so yes guys and at the moment my hair needs to be washed as i say <laughs> i say that with most videos when i do a video my hair always seems to need washing and although you might see it and think it oh it doesn't look look like it needs washing it does because trust me the weather has been hot i sweat profusely in my scalp and when I work out, I sweat in my scalp and I don't like it. I don't want that salt to stay on my scalp, so I wash it. And I've seen a big difference since I've been doing that. And it's 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 growing, guys. It's growing. See, it's, it's really... My scalp feels really... Um, it might not look dirty, but because I've been sweating, that sweat has dried on my scalp and i don't want that so i'm taking it out but um apart from that the hair is growing back let's take you know these layers are coming back i'm gonna see if i can post a video and so you can see when i first cut the locks but the strands these short ones which was probably up here i've grown or growing back can see it's going back and same with these ones not as long as these but they get in there they get in there but um i'm not going to cut it um because i've always been a bit i've always been a bit scissor happy so i'm not going to do that this time I'm just going to leave it and hopefully these layers will grow 
out. I actually quite like the layered look. I like the layered look. But I do want it to get back to one length so I can do all my styles, the bun styles, what I like to do. But apart from that, it's fine. So guys, thank you for watching my video. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to press the notification bell so you'll be alerted of my up and coming videos. It's good to share with everyone because I don't know everything. I just like to share my experience and hopefully help you guys if you've got starter locks, just started your lock journey, this is the channel for you. So, as always, stay blessed, stay beautiful and stay uniquely you. And I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you for watching.